This is Keith Creeker, Program Director for Technical Training at Johnson County Community College in Overland Park, Kansas. I'm going to do a very brief review of some of the techniques I use to help people get to an empty inbox every day. I'm now running Microsoft Outlook, but the techniques that I describe here would apply to any email system. And the first thing I'm going to do is eliminate some of the extra information that an email system provides us that we really don't need. Most of this comes in terms of columns of information and views of information. The first thing I'm going to do is remove some columns of information. As an example, I'm going to remove the reading pane and some of the previews and some of the calendar views. These are typically provided to make it easier to review messages but they simply lead us to put them off or keep them around for later use. I'm going to start by turning off the reading panes. When I go to the view menu, I'm going to find reading panes and turn that one off. I'm going to temporarily hide the calendar pane on the right by clicking its collapse arrow and we'll now see we have a large group of previewed messages. I'm going to eliminate some of the columns at the top by right clicking them and removing them from their view. I can always put them back in if I need them later. I'm going to eliminate the icon column and since everything in an inbox is high priority I can safely delete that. I'm going to eliminate the category and follow-up flag columns as well. I won't need those as my inbox will be fairly close to empty every day. I'm also going to change the view to a single line view by going to the change view menu and choosing single. Now that I've eliminated the clutter from the view, I can start to use four simple techniques to get this under control. We have to be ruthless in managing email. We see a lot of newsletters, we see a lot of information that may not be immediately needed or important at all for us, but it may be important for other people. So by liberally using the delete key, I can eliminate a lot of this extra information that I may be seeing every day in my inbox. I'm going to eliminate some of these messages that I know are low priority. Some of these messages I can move to subfolders if I need to keep them for later use. If I've responded to them and had the system copy my reply to the sent items folder, I really don't need those original messages. So any messages I've responded to can be safely deleted. Once I've deleted low priority messages, now I can focus on messages that have tasks in them. And if it is a task that I can complete in two or three minutes or less, then I'll simply stop, complete the task, reply to the sender that it is completed, and then delete the message. That gets it out of the inbox and it also gets my to-do list much more manageable. If it is a longer term task, then I need to turn it into a task, but I need to keep it out of the inbox. I'm simply going to move that to the task list by dragging and dropping it on the tasks button. As an example, if I need to reconcile my credit card statement, I'm going to grab that message and drag and drop it to the tasks item. That creates a task with the original message content embedded and now I'm going to set a reminder and set a start date and set a due date and save it. Now I can safely delete that task and that message. After deferring tasks and if I have the ability I'll delegate them. I'll simply forward them to someone else to do. These four techniques delete, do, defer and delegate will help you get to an empty inbox much more quickly.